Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, I want to apologize for being out yesterday. Uh, Just all sorts of work piling up administratively uh, around here to the point that trying to launch a bunch of projects that have been behind schedule for a long time that I uh, took off the broadcast yesterday to work on things. But we're here today, and the news is stacked up from yesterday and obviously today. It's breaking on every front. Uh, We're going to be here for the next three hours as we are Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time as well. And again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are broadcasting worldwide today. And I want to just open the phones up for first-time callers uh, coming up in the next segment. I'm going to get into the huge developments in Ukraine with Ukrainian troops massing, more Russian troops coming into Crimea, uh, the uh, Ukrainians uh, calling for Western military support, um, major military hardware from both sides moving in. This is a big deal. And you notice it comes right as the world's in an economic crisis, sitting on the edge of a bubble implosion. You expect big wars to start because the politicians are going to want to distract away from their criminal activities with the globalist. That's just a standard operating procedure. So we've got that. Uh, We've got mysteries. Everybody loves a mystery, and it's a tragic mystery. Without a trace, uh, you have this Malaysian uh, airline uh, disappearing. And I've I've seen the, the videos of the Iranians that were boarding the flight. And I got to tell you, looking at the eyes and the bearing of these two guys, they look committed. And I'm not saying they're guilty, but my gut tells me these are trained, trained, trained people right here. And they're very serious on a mission. And they look like Iranian Republican Guard or something. So that's all I that's all I can say is that they uh, look like the exact type of infiltrators you would use who don't look like big tough guys. Uh, but are actually uh, infiltrators. I mean, just my gut, looking at this fo- photo that I'm showing people on TV, folks can go to Infowars.com or any other news site for that matter and see the photos. DrudgeReport.com probably has the best, most extensive coverage of it all. And people have been asking me you know, since the weekend, what do I think is going on? And my gut tells me it's a hijacking and they crash the plane into the ocean. We've seen quite a few of those uh, getting hijacked out of Egypt and other areas. And when it's a real hijacking, they will take over and they will get in the cockpit and they will fly the plane into the water. And they'll generally do it with firearms or bombs they've smuggled on. Uh, Again, if it was a false flag, you would have naked body scanners rolling out next week. Like the Christmas Day bombing where the guy was known government minion. His dad tied into the CIA. Uh, they they did fake videos putting his face into, uh, you know, hooded Muslims at terror training camps. He was clearly drugged, getting Mutalib on the plane. We had witnesses that saw it and broke it. Turned out the CIA, again, basically ordered the airline uh, there in Amsterdam to get him on the plane. And we broke that here. It later came out in congressional testimony. But they moved away from it very quickly. That was a staged event because, oh, we're going to put naked body scanners in next week because of this. When they'd ordered them a year and a half before. And the outgoing head of Homeland Security, Chertoff, stood to make hundreds of millions himself off of it, off the billions. He headed up the company. So that was a total PR rollout. Just like, you know, when a new flavor of Coke's coming out, you see the ads, a new Coke's coming out. Or you see them, Ukraine three months ago voted to not join the EU. I said, get ready for them to destabilize and overthrow the Ukrainian government. I mean, that's a no-brainer. When you study geopolitics and the tricks and how they work, it's very clear. But then when you see an airplane go down and, oh, we don't know what happened, they're real hijackings, folks. And they happen every year or so. And that's what a real hijacking does, especially when Hezbollah-type connected groups are involved. That's Iranian-connected groups. They get on the airplane and they fly it into the water. 
Now, it could have been the plane just went down. It could have been, it's a coincidence these guys are on board. I don't know. There's also a lot of suspicious tech people on board. But my gut tells me it's a hijacking. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, we have a big broadcast lined up today. I have told people over and over again, it's just common sense, historical fact, it's no big secret, that the NSA is about political control. And MI6's uh, spy grid that's tied in to the NSA and the whole global echelon uh, system is designed to politically... Thank you so much. This is going to give me some coffee. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry I left that out there. Thank you. Now, uh, getting back to what I was saying, you guys reprint me my Larry McDonald. I spilled coffee on this. Reprint me my Larry McDonald. Thank you. Now... Uh, getting back to what I was saying uh, here on this live Tuesday edition, it is the 11th day, uh, of course, uh, of March 2014, and Lord willing, we're going to be here uh, for the next three hours, and we're going to get into a whole host of issues, but obviously, Diane Feinstein, who has defended the NSA spying expanded the NSA spying, 
is privy to the NSA spying data on the intelligence committees and others that she has access to. And then now it's coming out that the CIA was spying on Congress, the House and Senate, to see what they were up to. And they're acting like this is some revelation. The basic uh, information that I am covering here on air is well known and has been well known forever. That political spying, going back thousands of years in every culture, is just that, political. It's not focused on terror threats. It's not focused mainly on an outside enemy invading. Uh, it's not focused on keeping the public safe. It's focused on cornering markets, controlling economies, shutting down competition, and setting up mafias. And there's a lot of reasons for that, obviously. Number one, you know in ancient times if a foreign enemy is massing on your border because you'll have scouts and you'll have towns on your border of your empire, your country, that will see the enemy presence intensifying. And then the emperors of Rome or Babylon or Egypt, uh, right through to the modern empires, would then dispatch a larger force uh, to investigate to see if a full army is needed uh, to be rotated uh, into that area to repel the threat. But it's always an outside threat that is used, whether it be Al-Qaeda that's synthetic and manufactured predominantly, or whether it be a domestic terror threat that's totally manufactured, uh, or whether it be uh, you know the uh, boogeyman of mass shootings that kill 167 people on average a year, uh, almost all of them gang-related, but categorized as, as mass shootings. I mean, you would think there's an epidemic of mass shootings and death and killing, um, but it's actually... Uh, Shootings total are way down 51%. Just department's own numbers that they keep under a hat but are publicly available. My point is, is that you've got all these manufactured terror. Uh, you've got all these manufactured synthetic boogeymen that are hiding under the table. Historically and statistically and intellectually, it's, it's prima facie. It's, it's on its face. There's no debating about it. It's not my opinion. And so we need to have that revelation. They lied to us and said the NSA wasn't spying on us and wasn't grabbing data and listening to phone calls and tracking emails and faxes. When on congressional record, they had investigations in 1988, 1996 that were whitewashes in Congress. When they passed the Telecommunications Act, it's all in there how everything is built to spy on you. The main function of a telephone is to spy on you. The main function of a computer is to spy on you. The main function of a smartphone platform computer grid is to spy on you and model human behavior and track everything you do and control you and predict the future to then manipulate the future. This is all on record, by the way. None of this is my opinion. People have to understand, oh, that guy's wild. I am not wild. I sit here in stacks of news every day for 19 years. Anyone that did this would be informed. Catherine Harris, Fox News Channel, thanks for taking my question. Will the Utah Data Center hold the data of American citizens? No. Part one. Well, I can't go into all the details of the Utah Data Center. That's uh, Alexander. Uh, we don't hold data on U.S. citizens. The head of cybersecurity, that's the Pentagon branch of the Northcom domestic spy grid, that's just already operating completely illegally. They're trying to pass the cybersecurity legislation. It's, 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 it's operating in plain view since the early 1980s under Cyber Command at... Space Command in Colorado. Space Command runs everything with NASA corporately above it as an as an executive branch creation. That's the shadow government. So it's 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 Space Command nexus with the public face NASA and their interstellar programs that are classified. They're really freaking out, folks, when I talk about this stuff, by the way. Most of it I've gotten from sources, other I've reverse engineered their program. And it's unbelievable. They've already gone, I'm not going to even get into it. I just cannot believe how screwed we are. The general public has no idea what's even going on. The globalists are trying to start a war with Russia. I'm not saying Russia's good. I'm not saying Putin's good. The West is starting it. And I've had some people run up to me on the street who are pro-Russia Ukrainians go, we really appreciate what you're doing. And I have other people coming up to me who are 
uh, Ukrainian or from Poland in one case and are really mad at me.